science is sometimes slimy, often gooey, and occasionally terrifying. Thank goodness today's investigation is about magnets, because without them, I'm in serious trouble. I'm here to meet Chris, whose team used magnets to hold themselves in position as they paint ships, radar dishes, and buildings the size of a football stadium. What sort of things did you have to think about when you were designing them? It has to hold a man in position on a vertical incline, and these are load-tested to 120 kgs. 120 kilograms? Now, I'm 100 kilograms, so they must be pretty strong. Yep, they certainly seem to be. In fact, these magnets are so strong that if you're not careful, you could become unstuck. Or stuck. Or un... Oh, never mind. Oh, it, it's certainly not shifting. That's incredible. But how do I get it off? Right. We've designed a lever system, which if you pull the lever up, it pushes springs on the side of the magnet, which allows you a small air gap. But that's not a very big gap. No, but it's enough because the closer you get to a metal wall or surface, the magnetic forces start to pull the magnet in, and it will attract to each other. The, the further away you get from metal face, the magnetic forces are getting weaker, and you're able with your own strength to pull it away. Oh, that's it. Fantastic. So the magnetic force is strongest at the surface of the magnet. That's why the closer I bring the magnet to this iron girder, the stronger the pulling force I feel. Until I can't hold it anymore. But this lever can help me by pushing the magnet away from the surface, so that the magnetic force is weak enough for me to pull it off by myself. And that means you can hang 50 metres above the ground at any angle. Well, actually, Chris, this doesn't feel too bad. I reckon I could do it. Have you got any oil tankers need painting? Harry, once you can do what my lads can do over here and you're fully trained, we might consider giving you a job. Oh, uh, um, uh, on second thoughts, um, look, Chris, the, the, 